I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the lava zone. So there are two paths you can use. One is past the tree, and the other one is going to go by a juvenile ghost leviathan. You can take your cyclops through both, and I will be showing you both in this guide. If you decide to use your cyclops instead of just your prawn suit, there are a number of modules you will want to take with you. You will definitely need a shield generator. Sonar will be very helpful because it can get pretty dark. You do not need a decoy tube upgrade, but you will need a decoy, especially if you're going by the Leviathan. Thermal reactor will help you. It, it's absolutely key. And agency efficiency, especially if you do not have the thermal reactor. I suggest and highly advise that you use the thermal reactor. And last but not least, you will need the Cyclops depth module MK3 to take it all the way down into the lava zone. Now, full disclosure for this route into the inactive and active lava zones, I will be in creative mode. This is just to show you the path. We come to the tree here. We actually want to go past it. And if you've seen the Lost River walkthrough guide that I did, you will know exactly where this hole is, just beyond the tree. Going west, northwest. I am going to be using sonar for this, and if you're bringing your Cyclops, definitely going to want to have sonar. It's definitely going to make your life a lot easier. From here, you can actually bring your Cyclops right along the right wall if you hug the right wall and you can actually see it's actually built for this. And you can follow the way through and you'll see the blue brine waterfall and you're just gonna go through this. From here, it's gonna get dark and you will be in the inactive lava zone. We're going to want to turn right and we're going to want to follow this around. Keep pinging and this is going to really drain your batteries. So be careful. This is one of the reasons why I actually appreciate going to the Lost River from the blood kelp in the floating islands area. It avoids a number of re uh, ghost leviathans. And of course I go the shorter distance so I can just drop down into the inactive lava zone right in front of the lava castle. Now, as you come through into this big chamber the lava castle is actually right here. What, again, of course, what we'll be looking for is a doorway. So, oh, two thirds of the way up on this lip. If you go around the outside, you will find it. It'll glow green. And you'll have two alien pillars framing the outside of it. There is a sea dragon. So be careful. Here it is right here. Now we're going to take our prawn suit. Now there's going to be a number of things that you're going to need for your prawn suit. If you decide to do this one, you will need the grapple arm. I suggest at least bringing the drill arm. The jump jet is going to be very effective and helpful. And you will absolutely need the Mark II depth module for your prawn suit, allow you to get to 1700 meters. Now we're going to be looking for these alien pillars that you see right in front of us. And we're gonna be going this way. And the reason we're gonna be going this way is because it's gonna take us by an alien facility on our way down into the inactive lava zone. As you go through this area, you will come across a number of enemies, including warpers. Here's the collapsed alien facility. And here 
we can get a number of lore items. As you go, before you leave, make sure you grab three purple tablets and any ion cubes that you have. If you take your prawn suit, it's easier just to walk through the brine and avoid everything above. When you get to about this area right here, we can just pop out. Kind of grapple and jump jet our way over. We look straight up. There's a door. And an alien facility underwater that you can explore with lots of scannables and lots of lore. You will need a purple tablet for this, so bring that. From here, if you turn around and you go straight ahead, you're taking this way to get into the inactive lava zone. Right when you see this big pillar with the brine falling down like a waterfall, just past this is a juvenile ghost leviathan. So be ready. If you're taking your cyclops, I suggest putting your shield on and getting ready to fire your decoy. If you're bringing prawn suit, I advise keeping an eye on your direction if we're facing northeast east for the purpose of this guide. If we come back out, we're going to want to go southwest. That way we don't end up on the wrong side. From here, we're just going to go right here and drop right in. As you can see, this hole is big enough and won't be an issue for our Cyclops. But we're going to just use the prawn suit. Now you're looking for this hole, and this is why I say a sonar will be extremely helpful because it can get quite dark. And if you take the other path, past the tree, even darker. Now, the sea dragon is slow, but he will attack you. Be careful. And he does breathe draft fire, which is pretty wild, but that's it. Don't touch the lava because it will damage your prawn suit, and if you touch it while out of, the lo out of your prawn suit, it will kill you. Now, right in front of us is gonna be the lava castle, and we're looking for an alien structure doorway. You'll know because it'll show green when you get to it, and it's gonna be right in front of you as you come through this way. This is another reason I like to use this way. Now, if we go up, you're going to see a lip right here and the sea dragon right above us. And you can see right there. It's the green. Use your grapple to move faster and get out of the way. You'll be dropping down into this hole. And there'll be a path on the left that we're just going to kind of follow along. If you need to mark that area that you drop down with a beacon, I advise that you do it so that you don't get turned around. Follow the path through this hole and keep winding to the left. Like this. We're going to jump across here. And right here is the alien power facility. Now on either side here and there, there is a doorway, force field doorway that we can get through. We're just going to go here. If you're afraid you're going to lose this. You can put a beacon here as well so you can find it. Just grab it on your way back. Anyways, right here you're going to see the slip. It's right underneath this. See? Right there. Now there's going to be a number of things that you're going to need here. When you turn here, I already have it, but you will need a purple tablet for this. So that's your second purple tablet and there will be a blue tablet right here. You will need two blue tablets 
You will, you're only given one blue tablet for the game and you will need to craft the other. In order to craft a blue tablet, you will need one ion cube and two pieces of kyanite. So on your way out of this facility and back up through the lava castle, grab two pieces of kyanite off the walls. There's also nodes for ion cubes that you can grind out with your prawn suit. So make sure you get a bunch of those. Use one of the ion cubes for this. And this will take you all the way to the alien facility on the island by the Aurora. On the bottom by the moon pool. It'll make it active on the other side as well. And this will allow you to go back and forth. Now from here, we're going to want to go all the way down. And this is going to wind down for a while. But you're going to want to go down here. Because down here will be... Another purple tablet, and that'll be your third. And then right in front will be some lore, right between this power facility. But if you take this winding path on the right or left, and come all the way over here, you're going to see this. Like I said, I already have this, but it'll be big orange alien letters sticking up. If you hit this, this will give you the ion power cells. You can make ion batteries from there. And honestly, they're like 10 times stronger than regular batteries and they're worth it. Go ahead and get back into your prawn suit. Now remember, we're gonna go to the right and come and look to the right and you can see the glowing hole right there. So just go straight for that hole. I don't advise you bringing your uh, Cyclops all the way to the doorway of the lava castle because honestly, the sea dragon will attack it and blow it up. Here, we're going to go through this. And like I said before, we're just going to follow the path. And up. Now, this is where it's going to get a little tricky. First of all, as I stated, you will need two blue tablets. So from this point, you're going to want to retrace your steps all the way out and back to wherever you have your fabricator, whether that's in your Cyclops park just inside the inactive lava zone or back somewhere in the Lost River or up top, wherever you have your fabricator, you need to go back and craft your blue tablet. You will need two pieces of kyanite. So while you're here, as you see them on the walls, Grab two pieces of kyanite, and you will need an ion power cube. Go ahead and craft that, and then make your way back to this door. Once we're at this door, we're going to go to the left, follow along the top of this lava castle, and we're looking for a hole in the floor. It's about south, southwest, and we just kind of want to wrap around a little bit. As you can see, the compass... I can walk a good distance. We point south once we can. We can kind of go south, southwest like this. Like I said, there are warpers. Be careful. There are a number of skeletons. Or reapers. It's kind of the uh, sea dragon going to the surface to hunt them. The south-southwest, you're going to see this hole just drop down right here. You can take your Cyclops here as well. And through in between these pillars, they look like pillars. There's one of them is a hole. Here it is right here. And as you see, he's slow but he is aggressive. So if you're quicker, you'll be fine. You can take your Cyclops through here. And then we're gonna go down. This is the active lava zone. Now for here, this is where your jump jets and your grappling arm are gonna come in handy. 
Okay, now that I cut that out, I'm trying to do spoiler free. Some of you have never done this before and I really would rather not spoil anything. So from here, there is a sea dragon in here as well. You're gonna see these, you're gonna have to go basically either grapple along the ceiling or do jump these small islands. Don't let the lava touch you. It will do damage. As you go forward, southeast, south, you're going to see the main alien facility. It's a containment facility. Go ahead and walk inside. And you will need your first blue tablet to access this door. Walk forward. This little lip right here with your prawn suit can be a little tricky and you can get caught. So kind of jump and go over it. You can get stuck there, so be careful. Go ahead and walk up. Main, welcome to the main alien facility. There are a number of things to scan and explore here. I will not tell you everything. I would rather you explore it for yourself. But for the last part of this, this also you can, we can grind out for ion cubes. And unlike the other one, this one will respawn over time. And you can continue to come back here for more ion cubes, as many as you want. So once you come to this door right here, what we want to do is go ahead and put our blue tablet right on right inside. This is the one that we crafted. Now, if we come inside here, and then down into this water, that is where the sea emperor is. And from here, I will cut the guide because I will not spoil anything else. If you found this guide useful or you are still a bit unsure or unprepared, I will leave a number of guides off to the side here and down in the description so you can go back and review any part of this short series. I am Granddaddy Gamer, and you guys have an awesome day.